In this video, I show you how to create glitter keys. Here's everything that you need. Be sure to check out the description box for more information on these products as well. I officially love my keys after doing this, and I get so many compliments on them. It's a cute, affordable, and easy way to label your keys to know the difference between your house, work, or any other type of key that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to first lay down the key that I want to glitterify. I'm going to use a piece of tape. The tape will hold down the key and leave it in place for you while you're working, but it also creates a border or a barrier. Sort of the same way if you're painting a room or your house, you want to use this to create a straight line or an edge. You can do a design if you want or a shape. I just did a straight line across right before where the etching of the key begins. Using a brush or a sponge applicator like the one I'm using, you can even use your finger. You place the Mod Podge right on the key where you want the glitter to go. The type, size, shape, and color of the glitter is completely up to you. For this key, I'm going to use silver, and these are very small flecks of glitter. This is just regular craft glitter. You can get it really from anywhere, and I just sprinkle it right over top the Mod Podge. I then place the Mod Podge right on top of the glitter. This is going to help seal the glitter. When it dries, it will dry clear. This layering process will ensure that your glitter doesn't fade away or fall off. Then again, you can shake or drop the glitter right over top. And now you can remove your tape or barrier. Now I'm going to repeat the same step or process on another key. Again, lay down the Mod Podge. Then sprinkle the glitter of your choice. For this key, I decided to mix two different gold or bronze colors together. You can get really creative depending on the size of the key and how much glitter you have. You could do sort of a rainbow, an ombre, mixing different colors, however you want to do it. Then place Mod Podge and glitter again. Then you can remove your tape and clean up any mess that you have. I recommend doing this entire process over a piece of paper. It makes cleanup a lot easier. To finish this side of the key, I used a clear nail polish right over top. This is going to help seal it and also give the glitter a glossy, shiny finish. Be sure to allow this side of the key to fully dry before moving on to the back. When your keys are completely dry, you can flip them over and follow the same steps on the other side. A couple helpful hints with this, make sure you take the tape off while the glue and glitter are still drying. Do not wait until it's dry because then it might adhere to the tape itself, which would cause a problem. Also be sure that they are fully dry before attaching them to your key ring or using them. And now your glitter keys are done! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions at all, make sure you check out the description box or comment below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy do-it-yourself type videos. And thank you guys so much for watching.